I'm back. All right, let's do this. So, it's a new year, and, um, well, let's see what we're going to do with it. Now, yes, I know, most of you who, for some reason, subscribed and are still sticking around probably already know, I might go on a, like, decent, like, streak on, like, actually producing videos that are not terrible and, like, actually have, you know, thought and care into them, and then probably just quit after a few, then just quit after, like, two months, and then, like, come back after, like, five months and just repeat the process again. Or I just make, like, really crappy videos for, like, two weeks and then, like, just completely quit YouTube again. But this time, I'm going to actually try this time. I said this many times already, but, um, yeah. But, I mean, this year I actually am going to try because now I got a new camera, new tripod, and new software for video editing. And, yeah, I'm actually feel, feel like I can actually try this year. But before I actually try, I kind of want to, you know, look back and go back to the past and see um, something that kind of helped me start this YouTube channel in the first place. So, let's begin. Alright, let's do this. But in all serious, I'm going to be looking at my old 2013 MacBook Air. But before I start, let's get back into the history of this. Let me take it out here. This is the new MacBook Air. But what about the paper envelope? Now, yes, I was only five when this thing came out, but still, this was my very first laptop, and I just want to see how well performed in 2018. But hey, you still got the Apple logo. And Microsoft sticker for some reason. But hey, let's see how this thing performs in 2019. Nah, I'm just kidding, I'll stop. Now, I have the base model of the 2013 MacBook Air, and the specs aren't that terrible. We have a dual core i5 4250 year running at 1.3 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, HD 5000 graphics, and 120 gigs of storage. Now for the screen, it's not that impressive. This MacBook Air has a 13 inch 1440x900p low TN panel, but it's good enough for daily use. Now for I.O. on one side we got MagSafe 2, a USB 3.0 port, a headphone jack, and on the other side we got an SD card reader, another USB 3.0 port, and a mini display port. Now for the keyboard, this MacBook Air still has one of the best keyboards I've ever used. I still love the original scissor mechanism keyboards on the original MacBooks than to the butterfly switch keyboards on the newer MacBooks. And for the track pack, we all know that Apple is the king of all trackpads. Even though this is the older style surfboard track pack than the force touch trackpad, it's still pretty good. Now the main downside of this MacBook Air is, well, the storage. This MacBook Air only has 128 gigs of storage, and the read and write speeds aren't that impressive. Now what I decided to do was to open up my MacBook Pro and take out the SSD out of that. Now my MacBook Pro also only has 120 gigs of storage on it. So I went on eBay and got a 512 gigabyte SSD to replace it. So I didn't have to carry external hard drives with me everywhere. Now you haven't caught on what was going to be happening. Well, you'll find out in a second. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be taking out the SSD from the MacBook Air and replacing it with the SSD I just took out of the MacBook Pro, so I can get better read and write speeds. And one time machine back up later, the SSD performance has increased by a lot. And the numbers don't lie, the SSD upgrade helped the read and write speeds by a lot. And for people who want to know how fast my MacBook Pro is now, well, here we go. Now, I decided to do a couple benchmarks just to see how well this thing performs to my newer 2015 MacBook Pro and see just how it performs, I guess.
Now, before I get my verdict, I want to put out a disclaimer. I am not telling you guys that you have to buy one of these, and if you already have one of these MacBooks, that you have to upgrade to something better. I am just giving my honest opinion about how this thing performs in 2019. Well, let's begin. If you're just going to be doing web browsing and maybe typing a few essays here and there, then yes, this MacBook Air is perfectly good enough for those tasks. And if you really want, you could do some light Photoshop and maybe even some video editing in iMovie, and this thing is perfectly good enough for those. Heck, if you really want, you can use Final Cut Pro. I wouldn't recommend it, but it works. And if you look on eBay, you can find one of these for $400 or less. Heck, if you look hard enough, you can find one for $350 or less. And you can even play games on it, like Tetris. Even though I prefer to use my calculator. So, what do you guys think of the first video of the year? If you really liked it, leave a like for the video. If you didn't like it, well, then just hit the dislike and leave, I suppose. And if you really liked the video, then I guess you can subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, there's going to be more decent videos. And if you guys have tips or just want to tell me how terrible the video is, then leave a comment down below. Now, I want to give you guys a quick disclaimer. Um, I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to be able to make per month. My goal is to make at least two videos a month. Maybe three, but due to school and other life situations that I might come across, yeah, it's most likely going to be two, maybe three, but uh, most of the time it's probably going to be two. A lot of times it's probably going to be one video a month. Um, but hopefully they're not going to be terrible because I'm, I'm trying to improve the quality and actually, you know, con content of the video. I mean, this video alone took me like almost two weeks just to film and edit because I'm trying to make it like not terrible because... I used to just like spend like two days at most, which technically is not a good thing, I guess. But now I'm actually trying to like make the videos actually decent. And like, um, yeah, you guys are probably getting tired of the, you know, thing, well, the end card thing. So I'm going to leave. Well, anyway, if you guys liked it, then what's wrong with you?